On May 11, 2015, the people of Guyana went to the polls to elect their next president and parliament. I want vote today. I want our country to keep moving up. So I vote for progress, prosperity, and unity. The small nation of Guyana in South America took part in a tradition we as Americans take for granted. They elected a new government. That in itself is not amazing. But how it happened is the key. A Kentucky-based software company helped the winning candidate craft an online outreach strategy that reached into the 60% of his country's population using mobile devices. Is targeted advertising the future of elections? And more to the point, is targeted digital advertising using the, sta the same strategy as spies? Let's welcome into Midpoint the president and CEO of El Toro, the company in question, Stacy Griggs. Stacy, we thank you so much for joining us. And the first thing that comes to mind is here, you've done this in the States. Why Guyana, of all places? Because you would imagine that it's not very well dialed in as far as digitally. You, you would imagine that, Ed, but we, we found that the population of Guyana is, is very active online. So it was uh, kind of an interesting test case for us that it's a small country. It was very targetable using our technology, and the vast majority of people were online, even though they were online via mobile devices. So what exactly does your technology do that makes it unique? Well, what we do is we map IP addresses to physical addresses. And in the U.S., it's typically a home address or a business address or a college or university campus. And then we can place ads just to the right audiences at those, at those physical addresses based off of the IP addresses. And, and this is pretty unusual even in the U.S. because what we do is, is we're looking at who the right group of people is and then we're putting the right ads in front of the right people at the right time. Whereas most digital advertising is based off of your online behavior. It's based off of what cookies you have or what sites you've been to or what sort of things you've searched on. So if you look at the, the upcoming presidential primaries, you know, a lot of digital advertising is based off of search. Well, no one's going out in Iowa searching who's the best Republican to vote for in the, in the Iowa caucuses. Uh, so you need to figure out other ways to get to that right group of people. Is it possible, though, that you're not always hitting the right people? Because, and again... I'm not a tech guy. I just play one on television from time to time. But it always seemed to me that cookies were the way to do it. You had to have something which was passing through to the individual who's delivering the ad so that they would know exactly what to get to you. Well, if you think about an IP address, Ed, it's very much like a home address that, you know, you, you can occasionally get mail that's, that's for your neighbor. But, you know, the, the vast majority of time, the mail you get is the mail for your home. And an IP address is, is equally as unique, that there is an IP address for almost every house in the U.S. There's an IP address for almost every business in the U.S. Yeah, but you don't and, know and, if I'm Republican or Democrat, though, right? Even just well, from an IP address. That's actually the brilliance of our, of our technology is, is what we do is, is we don't know anything about you. But what we do know is that our clients will give us a list of people that they would like to target. And typically in the U.S., when we're targeting for political campaigns, they'll say, here's a list of people that vote in primaries. Uh, and, and, you know, if you look at uh, a great example, we weren't around for the, uh, we weren't around for the Republican primaries, uh, the Republican caucuses in Iowa in 2012. But if you look at the turnout for the caucuses, Roughly 5% of eligible voters turned out for the 2012 Republican caucuses. And, and you, you think about, you know, that, that Iowa is a big deal in presidential politics, but 5% of the eligible people turned out and voted. And the reality is political campaign strategists know who those 5% are well in advance because they're typically the same 5% of people that turned out four years prior. Let, let me ask this. There's a, a lot of people now who are so worried about people like the NSA and other governments knowing exactly what they're doing, how they're doing it, when they're doing it, if they're doing it, everything else involved. Isn't this a little bit like a spying program in many ways? Gosh, I'm worried about the same things. Uh, however, you know, if you look at what we're doing, it, it's actually far more privacy friendly than what most people are doing. You know, most most cookies and, and most advertisement, you know, when when somebody's cooking you, they know what site you've been to, they know what words you've searched for. All we know is, is literally that this home address matches this IP address. We don't know anything about the people in that home address, which is why we need some sort of data to be able to target. And that data is is either a, a campaign built election file or a, or a client CRM or some sort of data that the client provides. But ultimately, we don't know anything about the voters. I got a real quick question here. In the movie Minority Report, they were looking at the, at the actor's eyes. Here's a clip. Do you know 
Good evening, John Addison. We are John Addison. One night's call provides gourmet cuisine. Well, the night's call. You can use a Guinness. I got about 30 seconds left here, Stacey. Is that the future? Is that think, really going to happen I, soon? I think that's part of the future. There's already what are called beacons that are being deployed in retail locations. And retailers know where you are based off of what aisles you've walked down and what things that you bought and the last that you had to the store. Look out. There is no privacy anymore. Not even in the stores anymore. Uh, it's, it's a fascinating technology. People want to learn more about it. Go to eltoro.com is the website. Stacy Griggs, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, my pleasure. Take care. The Money Master. And where you will not be able to buy a Confederate flag t-shirt very soon.